welcome to the first video on hashing that is here we'll have only introduction of hashing where we'll see some some very basic part of a hashing why we use hashing what is hash function what is hash table what is collision we'll discuss little bit about everything so let's start with hashing introduction so uh, what is hashing now so uh, searching techniques technique discussed so far so far what we have discussed to search linear search and binary search so in both the search depend on number of element you have seen the complexity of linear search it was order of n and if you have seen the uh, complexity of binary search it was order of log to n so in both the cases this complexity is depending on n what is n number of elements but hashing is a searching technique so hashing is also a searching technique which is independent of number of element so hashing is not dependent on number of element complexity of hashing is order of one what a fantastic complexity that no it's it's just order of one so by uh, one go you can say whether the element is there or not or it will take some more time but it will always be less than n let's start so hashing is a technique or process of mapping keys what is keys keys the value which you want to map into a hash table what is hash table i'll just explain everything so what is key i will have to explain what is hash table so hashing is a technique of process of mapping mapping keys into hash table by using hash function so see this h k l that is when you apply hash function on key k it will give you a location and it will give you a location and that location will be in dash that location will act as that location will act as index in hash table that location will act as index in hash table so let's see let's see uh, what this definition is all about h k l so what is h what is k what is l suppose i have a value x which is key i am applying a hash function which is modulo i am dividing it with some value fine and what happened on on doing this i will get some value and i'll store the values let's some values are 11 12 13 14 and 15 fine and you have to store these values and when you have to store these value what you will do how you will do let's see okay so let's let's start with having let's start with storing these values uh, that how to store this value so see this figure if you see this figure fine okay when you have to store 11 what you did you mod you took mod of 11 with 10 it is given to you 10 so what will be the remainder one so at one index you will store 11 when you have to store 12 you took 12 here and mod with 10 you get 2 you store 2 at 12 so what actually you are doing you are applying hash function which is modulus on what key key could be 11 12 13 14 and which is giving you a l l is what index l is what index fine hope you understand what what hashing and hash function and hash table is all about so this is the space the location the at the location where we are storing all these keys are called hash table fine okay so uh, now comes the question why we need hashing now why we need hashing suppose we want suppose we have 50 employees suppose we have a 50 employees and we have given four digit key to each employee suppose i'm having two employee let's say i'm having a uh, james and john and adam i'm having this adam and suppose uh anna uh, I'm having these four employees. I have given uh, out of 50 employees. Uh, I, I took only four employees and I've given them four digit uh, employee number 1468. And suppose John is 32144 uh, and Adam is 23142 and this is uh, 9896. Fine. So suppose we have 50 employees and we have given four digit key to each employee uh, and we won't after entering a key direct user map to a particular position where data is stored and now suppose i want the manager of my organization uh, having 50 employees want to access their information directly so for storing these for storing these values what do you need actually you need a table you need a table having 10000 having 10000 blocks why because i have employed digit from 000 to what 999999 fine so where 3142 will come 3142 will come some here somewhere here so here adam information will be no uh, adam information will be stored and for james uh, somewhere suppose this is 1468 uh, uh, is stored over here so here james information will be stored in that case 
for storing just 50 employees i need a address space of 10000 so it is actually a wastage of memory this is actually a wastage of memory so what i will do i will use a hash function and i'll apply hash function on these key values suppose i have divided this with i have divided this with uh, suppose any arbitrary value um, uh, uh, 13 fine suppose 13 and uh, suppose i'm getting a remainder as uh, 4 Suppose I'm getting a remainder as 4. So instead of having 4 digit, instead of having a box of 4 digit addresses, I will use a box of ha only having 2 digit address. So at place 4, I will store this. Suppose after taking mod with 13, I'm getting an address of 12. So where I'll store this 2144 at 12. So what will be the benefit of this? If suppose the manager of my company want to access the information of James, so what he will do, he will divide his employee, he will take a mod of his, his employee number with 13 because 13 is fixed for a company. So he will get a 12 and he will directly go to the 12 place and he will get the address of that particular employee and he will get all the information of that employee. Fine. So hope you understand what I was trying to tell you uh, and I, I will not, I'm not going to read all this thing i have already explained to you now uh, let's move further so now second topic is hash table and we have already discussed what is hash table it is a collection of item what is hash table it is a collection of item which are stored in such a way as to make it easy to find them later no we keep we store what we we store keys so that after that when we want to retrieve we can retrieve them very easily fine we store keys in where hash table in a such a way that next time when we look for it like a manager when was looking for a, his employee detail he can easily get get it so this that is hash table each position in a hash table is called slot so each position so if suppose this is a hash table so each position in hash table is called slot slot s l o t slot fine okay so each position in hash table is ca called slot okay where the item belong to in a hash table is, uh, is called a hash function no and how we uh, you know get the these uh, uh, slots by applying hash function by applying hash function when we apply hash function to key k we get what a uh, slot location fine this is what definition of uh, hash function is all about so this is what hash table is so again uh, you have given a question that you have to store these values uh, using remainder method using remainder method and uh, suppose <coughs> uh, and suppose the uh, size of table is 11 that is you have to divide everything every key value with 11 so, so you have divided 54 with 11 you got 12 10 you divide 26 you get 4 uh, you divided this you got 5 you got 6 you got 0 and you got this now so finally what happened you stored 54 at uh, at tenth position so you can see at tenth position 54 is there fine so you store four at fourth position 26 so you stored at fourth position 26 similarly you took a mod of every key value with with given m value what was m value size of table this is m value fine so <clears throat> after getting mod well you you are storing the key value fine okay now somebody if suppose somebody comes and wanted to search 93 so he will not look you no know, in a linear fashion he will not look in a binary search fashion he'll simply use 93 he will divide it by 11 and he will directly get 5 so in fifth position he will go and find 93 so what is the complexity over here order of one that is why i have discussed <coughs> excuse me the complexity of hashing is order of one now what other thing uh, following are the basic primary operation of hash table so what are operations of hash table you can search item you can insert item and you can delete item from hash table fine okay now comes very important which you might be al already thinking collision in hashing what is collision what is collision actually let's say collision taking element 44 now i'm taking a new element 44 when we apply a hash function 44 when we are applying a hash function on 44 we get what 44 and what was value 11 will give you zero but if you see zero is already filled so this is called collision because 44 is also trying to come at zeroth position and 77 is already there so i cannot put 44 at zeroth position but zero have a hash value already have 77 this problem is called so what this problem is this problem is called collision and according to hash function according to hash function 
two or more item we need in a same sort who would be need in a same sort this is called collision when more than two item are mapping to a same location then this this problem this issue is called collision so if you see the figure you can clearly see these are so many keys these are universe of keys k1 is coming at this location after applying hash function uh, k4 is coming at this location after applying hash function but k5 and k2 are coming to this location that is here we are we can say collision is occurring here we can say collision is occurring fine same so uh, this is what it is written about the figure which i have already explained you 